promise I out. everywhere. man standing.
What is it, boy? Something's coming. A truck? Uh... Yeah? It's me, uh, Talkit. My grandpa served the Amasidia family? Talcott? Yeah. No way. Yes way. Welcome back, Your Majesty. Yes, sir. That's... that's right. Huh? Uh, just a second. Um, said he wants to have a word with you. He can have it in person. He said you can have it in person. Okay. Uh, we should be there shortly, sir. Wow. I can't tell you how good it is to see you again. Yeah, you sure look different, though. You think so? Guess I've grown some these ten years. Ten years? <laughs> the guys must be pinching themselves right now. Where are they, anyway? Lestalem, more often than not, but they take a lot of trips to Hammerhead. For? Uh, for Miss Cindy. You know, back at the garage. She's a tough one, but uh, when she needs a little extra muscle out on the road, she gives him a call. Huh. Oh, uh, speaking of which, the guys said they're near Hammerhead right now, so we'll be meeting them there. You know, ever since you disappeared, Your Majesty, it's been nothing but nighttime, non-stop. Lestalem still has light, thanks to the power plant, so just about everyone's taken refuge there. Only there? Everywhere else has been abandoned. Demons moved in, forcing the people to move out. People still swing by the garage at Hammerhead from time to time, but it usually isn't for repairs. These days, it's less of a service station and more of a slayer station, a base for demon hunting. The garage is still open, though, one of the few places that is. So, um, Sid, is he still alive and kicking? <laughs> He's kicking all right, just not as hard as before. Yeah. He hasn't really been himself lately. At least, not since he moved out to Lestalem. 
someone suggested he move the garage there too, but old man Sid wasn't having it. He called it a big fat chocobo turd of an idea. Said it just wouldn't be the same anywhere else. That sounds like Sid all right. Miss Cindy said she didn't mind either way, so the garage will probably stay put for a while. And without any tinkering to do, Ignis's gourmet seafood is about all Sid has left to look forward to. With all the demons prowling around, more folk were getting hurt. Or worse. So Iris talked the marshal into taking out the demons themselves. Iris the Demon Slayer, they call her. Gladio and the others, they lend him a hand whenever they can. Prompto spends most of his time hunting around Hammerhead. He tries to impress Miss Cindy, but she's already married to her work. And Ignis? He hunts too. We tried to stop him, but he wouldn't listen. He said if anything, he's more used to the darkness than we are. Never got his vision back. I'm afraid not. But that being said, he gets by pretty well on his own. Gladio and Prompto usually hunt on their own as well. It isn't often you see the three of them together nowadays. They still work as a team every once in a while, but each has his own set of tasks to keep him busy. Is that so? We've arrived, Your Majesty. Everyone will be so happy to see you. Don't worry, I won't be going anywhere. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to ask. all you have to say for yourself after all this time. <laughs> Knocked! It's you! It's really Is you! It? I hadn't realized. Well, well. You kept us waiting. Not like I wanted to. We've got catching up to do. Let's head inside. Well, fellas, we're homeward bound at last. Time to suit up. Finally get to rock these threads. Wear them with pride. Yeah. Just hope they still fit.
<laughs> home sweet home. Yeah, at long last. What have we been waiting for? Sure is. Are you with me? Of course. You bet. Until the very end. It's time to finish this. Once and for all. This is it. Give it your all, guys. Yeah. You got it. With pleasure. I've been fought together like this in ages. Really takes it back, doesn't it? We may have struggled before, but now nothing can stand in our way. Hmm. I'm surprised we haven't seen any glaives around here. Why would we? Because they're doing reconnaissance, dealing with the demons as they go. Their base is up ahead. Come on. Ah! <laughs> We've still got a little fight left in us. You say that like we've already peaked. Yeah, we haven't even reached our prime. Huh. Guess you're right. Say goodbye. Follow me. 
What kingly confidence you've acquired. And it only took you ten years. should hurry. There may be survivors nearby. I sense trouble. You sense right. Nice Onward. Right. something to show you. Follow me. So, what brought you back to Insomnia? We wanted to do what we could to make sure everything was in order. <laughs> but the day the king returned to reclaim his rightful seat on the throne. We're stationed just up ahead. Just about the only place we have left. Come on. Good news, everyone. Your king has returned. Highness! Oh, I knew you'd come back. Please. Your Highness. For many moons, we have eagerly awaited the coming of this day.
brothers and sisters, brave warriors of Lucis. You've done well these ten years. And I thank you. You've done so much. All for my sake. <laughs> Even as the darkness overcame our world, we kept the light alive in our hearts. We've all lost friends and loved ones along the way, but the one thing we never lost was hope. Brothers and sisters, I ask you to stand by me and fight at my side for the light and for the future of our world. Yeah! All hail the King of Light! The Glaive's finally got its king. So happy to have him back. Yes, but none more happier than us. My liege, I have a request from Ms. Aram. You mean Cindy? Yes. She was hoping you would help her unearth some special machine parts from the city ruins. We've already deployed one of our glaives to the designated area. They're not much for conversation, but rest assured, when it comes to combat, they're more than capable. I've marked the location on your map. All that's left is to rendezvous with the glaive and begin the operation. Got it. I'll see what I can do. Here, take this. A key? Good eye. That'll let you open all the gates around here. Perfect. So, what's next for you, Marshal? Lots of Imperial stragglers left. Thought I'd clean them up. Need a hand? <laughs> Looking to earn yourself a favor? If so, you're more than welcome. Just tell Yosef when you're ready. Um, Mr. Argentum? I've heard you're quite the savvy cameraman. Could you help me with something? With what? Well, a group of us were trying to take some pictures of the Crown City as part of our reconnaissance work. Unfortunately, the demons were too much for us to handle, so I was hoping you might be able to go out and snap some shots in our stead. You wouldn't mind, would you? Not at all. Leave it to me. Hey, about those photos. Would it be okay if I helped? I want to see the state of the city for myself. Sure thing. The more the merrier. You can buy just about anything you need from that if you're lucky enough to have it. A lot happened while you were gone. For one, the people of Lucis gave up on traditional currency. Instead, they started to trade things like meteor shards, stuff with more practical value. died at the signing ceremony, but one of them survived and escorted Lady Luna Freya to safety. To this day, his story lives on as an inspiration to us all.
I crossed the continent as a hunter in my former life, but I was reborn as a member of the Marshal's Kingsglaive. If ever I can be of service to you, please do not hesitate to ask. Name's Yosef. Pleasure. Our objective is the annihilation of all remnants of the Imperial forces. Several of the Empire's bases located around the city remain operational. The Marshal is scouting these locations as we speak. You can begin the operation once you rendezvous with him on site. Roger. Well, best of luck, boys. Mm -hmm.